get ready talk through type video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you'd like to see more of these type of get ready with me videos, usually my get ready with me's are silent with music. Um, but I figured I would try this one today, so it's kind of like a tutorial-ish how I got this look. But yeah, um, if you enjoy these, be sure to thumbs up and leave it in the comments below letting me know that you which ones you prefer, whether you prefer me talking through them or music. Um, yeah, so just let me know in the comments below and we'll go ahead and get started and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Okay, so first we're going to be using my eye base. This is by NYX and it is in the color ESB03 and it's just your typical eye base shadow. Um, I use it pretty much all the time. When I first bought it, I didn't like it and I felt like it just, I don't know, it just made my eye shadows crease. But for some reason, as it got a little bit older, um, the product, I don't know, it just stopped creasing and started working better for me. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it is similar to one of the um, MAC paint pots. I think it was Soft Ochre. Um, I'm not sure about that though. I've never used that one, so don't quote me on that. But what I do is I just apply it all over to my lids just to give me a nice um, solid color base to work with. It just covers up all the veins and any discoloration or redness that I have and it just makes it a lot nicer to work with. I'll just apply a little bit under my eyes sometime too. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and go in with a um, fluffy type brush. This one's just by e.l.f. It's just one of their um, basic dollar, I think this one was like a dollar at Target. Just going to go in with, a, it's a fluffy crease brush. I've already said that a few times. But I'm just going to take this. I'm going to be using my Naked palette today. And I'm going to go in with the color Buck, which is just this brown color right there. And I'm just going to tap that off a little bit. And we're going to start applying this into the from the outer corner, the outer V. And we're just going to blend this in and smudge this over. Okay, and we're just going to apply that right on the outer corner and kind of brush it inward. into the inner corner a little bit. Okay, and just go ahead and do that to the I really love this shade, um, Buck. It's just a really, really nice, pretty brown color. I love that it's matte. There's no shimmer, there's no glitter in it, and it's just really a great color. Um, to use in your crease or to uh, smoke anything out. It's just really nice and I feel like it looks really good with um, every eye color. I feel like it makes my green eyes pop. So once you kind of just have that in there, it doesn't really have to be perfect because we're going to go back in and blend it out later. Um, the next color we're going to take using the same brush is this color down here, Hustle. And it's just a nice taupey, purpley based brown. I guess you could say. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the um, tip of my brush and just place that right in here on the lower V part. Almost as if I'm pretending to draw a wing for like eyeliner. And just pull it up just a little bit just to deepen that outer V up. Do the same to the other side. Just like that. Then I'm going to go in with my My Glam. Um, it's just a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with what little bit of um, the color Naked that I have left. I really need to pick up um, just a single of that, I guess, because I use it for everything. I'm just going to take that on here, and I'm just going to lightly buff and blend out the colors that we just put down. I feel like Naked is such a great um, skin tone color for me. It's a perfect color to use to blend out. Um, most of my eye looks that I do, and I just, I really love that color. And once again, it's a nice matte color, so you're not going to get shimmer everywhere or anything like that. 
then if you want, sometimes I feel like I lose a little bit of the color, the depth of it. So I'll go back in with that um, e.l.f. fluffy brush and I'll just put back some of the hustle and a little bit of buck back in depending on what I feel like I need to add to. Just to deepen it up a little bit. And then just go right back over it just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go in. And I'm going to be using my new um, Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Liner. And this is in the color Sparkling Black. And I didn't notice that it was Sparkling Black when I bought it. Um, there is glitter in it, but it's so finely milled down you really can't see it on your eyes so I'm okay with it um, but I'm just gonna take this and line my waterline and the upper um, part of my upper waterline whatever um, you want to call it so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now Ugh, I feel like I have hair tickling my nose okay and then just um, line the lower water line. And th what's good about these um, Rimmel eye color or eyeliners are the waterproof ones really are waterproof. They stay on so unbelievably not well. Um, I never have issues with them smudging, and I just, I really love them, and they're really, really cheap and inexpensive. So, um, and I'm just going to take that, and I'm just going to smudge a little bit of it out here on the, um, upper outside corner of my eye. Almost like I'm doing a uh, winged liner, but we're not going to wing it out or anything, really. Just going to smudge a little bit of this up there. just to create a little bit more depth on the outer corner of the eye again. And I'm going to actually go in with this eyeliner because I don't have my smudger with me. I'm going to go in with this eyeliner just to use the smudge part of it just to smudge out that liner a little bit more. Like that. Then we're going to go in with our eyelash curler and we're going to curl the eyelashes. And today I'm going to be using my Rimmel um, Lash Accelerator Endless. And I mentioned this in my favorites video and I really do love this mascara. It's really, really awesome. So I'm just going to apply a few coats of that to not get it in my hair. just like that and I feel like one coat is good enough for today so I'm just gonna apply the one coat and I'm just gonna go back in here and clean up a little bit smudge around some of that eyeshadow to make sure it's really well blended and as you can see that's what the mascara looks like right now I really like it then we're gonna go ahead and go on to our face and I'm going to be using my Garnier BB cream the skin renew combination to oily skin and I am in the shade medium light, or light medium. And I'm just going to shake it up real well. And I'm going to be applying it with my flat top. Um, this is a, I believe this one is Sonia Kashuk. So we're just going to apply it with that one today because my Real Technique ones are dirty and they need to be washed. So we're just going to apply a little bit of that to start out with. This thing's so messy. So I'm just going to put my brush in it. And we're just going to start applying this. And what I like to do is just to stipple it out first all over my face. 
and then I'll blend it in. And sometimes I would use my, a lot of the times I use my beauty blender, but my beauty blender also needs to be washed, so we're just going to stick with this brush today. So I'm going to keep my hair out of it. go back on with my fingers and kind of use whatever's left on my hand to go back over the areas that I feel like it, I need a little bit more coverage. Because I really don't need any more than that on my face. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit for just a second. And we're going to go ahead and put on concealer and I'm going to be using my NYX concealer in the jars. I'm going to be using CJ04 beige um, on the areas where I just have like little blemishes or scars. Um, right now my skin is actually really really clear um, but I do have a lot of scarring from old acne so this is great just to cover that up. I feel like this concealer works really, really well, and it lasts all day, and it covers really good. Just going to apply a little bit on my nose. to go in with a concealer brush and this one I believe was by yep it's the eco tools and I'm just gonna go in with the other concealer and um, this one is in 01 porcelain and it's just a lot lighter shade and I'm gonna use this underneath my eyes a bit just to brighten them up a little bit so we're just gonna apply this first with the brush and I think I got a piece of hair in there somewhere I can feel it And then I'm just going to apply it with my finger. You really, when you use this concealer in your eyes, you really want to make sure you use a very, very fine layer. Because if you put too much, it can become a bit cakey. There's the hair. And you don't want that under your eyes because it can make you look aged under there. And that's just not a good thing. So... I like to just apply it with the brush first just to kind of spread it where I need it and then the warmth from my finger really melts down the concealer and blends it in really well. Okay, and then I'll use whatever's left on the brush and I'll go like down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and I'll just once again blend those in with my finger. <clears throat> ahead and go in and we're going to um, lock all this in with my um, powder and today I'm using my Revlon Nearly Naked powder. I love this stuff and I'm just going to put it, apply it with my e.l.f. powder brush. I love these e.l.f. powder brushes to apply powder. I'm just going to dab it into the container and then I'm just going to push it into my skin. And I feel like this powder really, really locks everything in and gives me a nice, like almost airbrushed look. So first I like to um, like stipple it in and just press the powder in versus swirling it in and like really buffing it in, especially down here because I feel like um, it just sets it better and makes it look better and it doesn't move around my concealer. And then I'll just kind of buff it in after I've got a good, you know, got it really in there. And then I'll just pull it down my neck just to blend it in because this Revlon powder really does have a really good... Um, coverage to it. Then I like to just go in with my finger and just lightly put a little bit underneath my eyes where I put that concealer just to kind of keep it from moving around or getting creasy and I just feel like that really helps to hold the concealer in in its right spot. <laughs> um, next we're going to go ahead and go on to bronzing and I'm going to use my um, NYC Sunny Bronzer. I'm just going to use my, what is this one? The Real Techniques, I think this was the blush brush, but I'm just going to use it for 
um, bronzer today. So I'm just going to bronze up my skin. I'm not really contouring with this. I'm just going to apply it to bronze up my complexion, bring it down my neck to get that really sun-kissed glow. Put it on your forehead and in my hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't put it in your hair. And just bring it down a little bit. Just like that. Then what I like to do is I'm going to go in with my um, small stipple brush by e.l.f. Looks like this. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to contour. So I'm going to contour my cheeks a little bit. And we're going to use it to go down the nose. Right here and down the chin a little bit. I just feel like that brush contours perfectly for me and I really love it. Um, next we're going to go ahead and put some blush on and today we're going to use, I don't even know what brush this is, it's extremely old, it's just a big stipple brush and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush in mauve, yeah mellow mauve, I haven't used this one in a long time but recently I've been reaching for it. So we're going to apply a little bit of that. like that and I like to go back in with my the same brush I applied my Revlon powder I just like to make sure that it's all blended in really well then we're gonna go on to our eyebrows if I can find it we're gonna be using my Chella eyebrow gel I almost said glue eyebrow glue eyebrow gel and I'm just going to put them in place where I want them and then I'm gonna fill them in using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium I believe. I'd like to get a lighter shade but um, right for right now this is one that I have so I'm trying to finish it up and I'm just gonna lightly fill in my brows a little bit. I don't like to go too crazy on them um, just because I feel like I don't really need it all that much. I just like to kinda um, put it where it's a little bit sparse and make it look a little bit more defined. But I don't really change the shape of them or anything. So that's it. Um, and then next we're going to go in back with our um, Naked palette. I'm just going to take my pinky and put it in um, Virgin just a little bit. And I'm just going to apply that into the tear duct. And that's it for that. Um, and lastly, I think it's lastly, is the lips. We're going to start... I'm just going to put a little bit of chapstick on using my EOS Balm. I really don't like the EOS Balm, but right now I'm out of my e.l.f. lip gloss, or not lip gloss, uh, chapstick stuff that I have. And we're going to use this pencil today, and it's by Starlux, and it's in the color Bare. I got this in my Ipsy bag for this month, and I've really been loving playing around with it and using it because it's such a different color for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to start lining my lips and then fill them in. Like that. And then, for today we're going to try something different. I'm going to use my baby lips. I have two of them. I really don't know what the colors are because they're not on the containers that I know of. But they're the ones when they first came out. So I'm going to use this one first. It's just like a nice neutral color. I'm going to put that all over first. Then I'm going to top it off and add a little bit of the color of this pinky color in the middle. Just like so. And then lastly, just to bump up my eyelashes a little bit, now that my mascara is dry, I'm going to curl them one more time. I just feel like this really just lifts it up and gives it a nice, pretty curl and makes them a little bit more voluminous. And that is about it for my um, get ready with me today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram. Um, all the links will be posted down below. 
And yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day. And if you have any video requests, be sure to leave it down in the comments below as well. And hit like on this video if you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me talk through type videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>